uh, Coach David Watson, the head coach for the Blackman Blaze, on the uh, Keith Nunley Nationwide Insurance Hotline. Call Keith Nunley to make sure you're covered properly so you can focus on life and enjoy the game. Call Keith at 931-723-7040 to get Nationwide on your side. Uh, coach Watson uh, perhaps did not enjoy tonight's game so much as uh, Blackman's season comes to a close uh, in uh, in Maryville for the second year in a row. And uh, I think I've done pouring salt on the wound, Coach. I love you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, you know, uh, I won't say I didn't enjoy it. I mean, we didn't enjoy the outcome, but we enjoyed the competition and the game. And, uh, you know, uh, it, it, anytime you come to Maryville uh, in, in November, you probably had a good season. So, uh, you know, it was it was fun competing against them and seeing what we could do. And we did some good things. Uh, just didn't do enough good things, and they're a good team. Yeah, they really are a good team, and and uh, they've got a uh, they've got a lot of kids that uh, uh, you know have they 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 play pretty much mistake free football, and that uh, that kind of some of those mistakes uh, hurt you a little bit tonight, didn't they? Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, they they scored and uh, scored first, and then we we answered and scored, and then they scored, and we get it down to a fourth and one down. You know, it was either in the red zone or right outside the red zone, and we make a mistake, and don't convert, and then when that happens, uh, you know, you kind of it can it can pile up on you quickly because uh, they just uh, they execute so well offensively, and they've got good players, and uh, you know they they didn't have a penalty in the first half, and uh, just uh, they're you know really good, really well coached, and execute very well. Uh, I was I had the opportunity to listen to part of your game uh, in the uh, uh, with the early start and and uh, it appeared to be one of those situations where we, me and Eric were talking uh, is like a tennis match if you if you didn't hold serve you had, you got in trouble of going behind two scores and and uh, uh, you know I thought it was going to be a, a shootout but uh, uh, Master Teague. He did everything he could tonight to uh, uh, to lift you to the victory, didn't he? He did. He played well. Uh, you know, he, he had a fourth down run he'd probably like to have back. Uh, that, that really, we, we didn't feel like we should be in fourth and one anyway. We kind of got a, a little bit of a, you know, maybe a bad spot there on third down. We thought we had the first down. and uh, But he, he really played well. He caught the ball out of the backfield and, and got some big yards, and then he ran well. And, uh, you know, as a whole, we had several kids offensively play well. I thought, uh, thought Connor Mitchell, our quarterback, uh, mm-hmm. had a, had a really good game. Uh, I thought that, uh, Trey Knox, sophomore receiver, you know, he, he continued to do some nice things and, uh, thought, thought we blocked pretty well. And, uh, you know, we did a lot of good things. We just, um, when you make a mistake, they capitalize on it. And, uh, you know, it's just uh, they're really they're really good on offense, and when they can when they can play offense like they can play it, uh, they don't really have to get many defensive stops. Yeah, and and uh, like you said, they they are going to play mistake free football. Um, I'm not going to put you on the spot. I'm not going to ask you since you've played both the teams that are going to be in the semifinals next week uh, uh, what you think. But uh, Eric Keith, he's sitting right here next to me. I'm going to let's see if he wants to if he wants to bite you with that uh, with that little trap right there. <laughs> well, you know that's a, it's a good question because uh, it's going to be a, a excellent matchup next week uh, as as Maryville has to travel over here. Uh, but in addition to that, you know, with with the season being over, uh, I want to give you the opportunity. Who who are some players? Uh, that you want to brag on uh, after the final game, especially those that you you're not getting back next year as they move on and graduate. Shoot, there's a lot of them that, that did a good thing for a lot of good things for us. Uh, you know, uh, a couple senior offensive linemen, Matthew Hartley and uh, Dylan Heath, they, they had good seasons for us. Uh, Joseph Sewell's been a two year starter at tight end, did a really good job for us this year. Uh, Quantez Pugh. Uh, probably the only kid on our team that started both sides of the football. Just an outstanding leader, uh, work ethic, tremendous, tremendous kid. Uh, several defensive kids, uh, Rico Banks, an outside linebacker, Tony Ochoa, uh, Alex Finney, uh, James Brown played a little defensive line and uh, and linebacker for us and did a good job. Uh, Kobe Philalom, he, he kind of burst on the scene and was a – First time starter this year on defensive line did a good job. Demondre Ogleton played a little bit on the defensive line and the offensive line. 
but those those are just some of the kids that uh that uh you know we'll miss next year but they had great careers and uh finished uh you know they finished the way we wanted to they battled tonight and played well uh just kind of got beat by a better team nothing to hang their head about doesn't change the the great memories they made uh all year long for, for the blackman blaze i know that uh you're a loyal guy you're uh you're a, a football guy uh you're a man of great character and, and great integrity and you're very kind to spend time with us so many times this year. Uh, you are a breath of fresh air in the coaching profession, and I have uh, uh, a lot of respect for you, and I have a lot of love for you, brother. Thanks. I, I appreciate it, and we try to do things right. I, you know, I was blessed to have great coaches when I was a kid, and uh, and uh, you know that's that's who I am. And you know, I kind of get to live my dream. It's not always uh, not always fun because you get criticized and second guest and things but that, that comes with the territory but uh i like coaching and i like being around kids and uh you know like seeing them grow and uh have a blessed with a good coaching staff a great bunch of guys and you know we had a good season uh nobody you know i guess there's six or seven teams that'll win their last game but everybody yeah. else loses their loses so uh you know we're, we're proud of where we're at you know we'd like to get over this quarterfinal hump and try to get to the next round but you know, we're proud of the kids, and we couldn't ask for anything else out of them. You know, they gave us – they emptied their tank is, is what we like to say. They gave us everything they had. Well, that's – and, and when you re, when you start uh, working on next year, it's always great to know that, uh, uh, you know, you, the, that your kids gave it all this year, and that's a pretty good building block to build on. Absolutely. Without right. a question. All right, I hope to talk to you again real soon. If uh, if I see you, I may see you next week up at Oakland or – or uh, if you're around at the Blue Cross Bowl and you see my fat self waddling around, stop me and uh, hug my neck, okay? I will. Thanks, Dennis. I All appreciate right. you having us on this year. All right, David, I appreciate you. Good luck. We'll talk to you next year, okay? Thank you. All righty. That is David Watson, the head coach for Blackman. Quality, quality guy. Oh, absolutely. Uh, I was hoping uh, to talk to him under different circumstances tonight. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it, it, he sounds the same. Uh, in, 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 in either way we talk to him, uh, he's he's not uh, uh, a braggart uh, when he wins, and uh, he he's very humble in a loss. So that's uh, that's awesome.